My name is Frank Christensen and I'm the coordinator of officials for IFAF in Europe. This is the bullet training tape for wing officials on punts on crews of five. Now keep in mind this is the baseline so it's up to you to add your own personal flavor, your own bullets to the list. And with that said I hope you enjoy it and I hope you find it useful. On this first play we're looking at obviously the first bullet get ready to kill the action so once they line up here we want to make sure that we're absolutely ready to kill any false starts or any neutral zone infractions anything that that requires a blow and throw uh, just because that is that's so important at this stage and then we want to make sure that that we are in control of the offensive formation we know everything that's going on there uh, obviously that it's that it's a legal formation but also where the numbers are where are the the ineligible numbers and where are the uh, the, the would-be eligible numbers who are who are lined up um, in an ineligible position so so we need to we need to know all that especially on, on our side of the formation and then and finally the last bullet there is is down in distance we want to know how far it is for for a new first down just in case they run a they run a fake and we certainly want to know where that line to gain is and uh, you know once the once the snap goes right there we go into during the play so we're reading and reacting uh, we're already in uh, you know punt mode so we're expecting a punt uh, so in a, in a crew of five we're, we're staying on the line of scrimmage uh, we want to know uh, where the ball is in relation to that line of scrimmage so we want to know uh, what happens to it as soon as the ball is kicked you know during the kick uh, the back judge is back there he's looking at, at the punt returner so we can we can look at blocks during the kick and and we're moving down the field just a, a little bit more than these two guys are simply because they're in a larger crew but they're moving down the field a little bit more a little bit faster because as soon as the ball is kicked right now we want to maybe be 10 15 maybe even 20 yards further down the field than, than these wings are just because as soon as the run be, uh, comes back at you the return starts uh, we want to cover the runner during the return and we are responsible for for progress uh, also simply because we don't have the deep wings uh, so so we want to be down there so that we can cover the uh, this out of bounds spot for example and then you know after the play is over first thing we want to do is is like these guys do a, a good job up too is we want to stop the clock uh, we want to clean up uh, if it's on the other side of you uh, you're cleaning up anything in a, with a wide angle uh, if it's on your side uh, you get involved in ball relay and then the last bullet there is, is set up the um, set up the chain so that we get ready for the next play So again, get ready to kill the action. We want to be able to blow and throw. We want to have control over the line of scrimmage or the offensive formation, everything that comes with that. And we want to know the down and distance. Uh, here it's, uh, you know, we're inside the chain, so five yards could make a huge difference. And we want to know where the, where the line to gain is, obviously, just in case we have that five-yard penalty. And then the ball is snapped. We're reading and reacting. Uh, regardless of crew size, we, we want to stay on the line of scrimmage. Uh, we want to know where that ball is until it crosses the line of scrimmage. Once the kick is off, we're looking at blocks uh, moving down the field a little bit more than they would in a, in a, in a bigger crew, in a larger crew. Um, and then once the ball is, is, is controlled, there the return starts. We're, we want to be far enough down the field that we can pick up the runner uh, during the return. Uh, so that we can also cover the um, the forward progress stop or the forward progress spot. Uh, and once the play ends, you know, first thing we do quite automatically is stop the clock. Then we're if, if we're not directly involved in, uh, in 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 the runner and where he's he's down, uh, we're cleaning up. Uh, if we're close enough to the ball, it's on our side. We get involved in, in ball relay, and then we're setting up the chain. 
and getting ready for the next play.